it's still getting higher and higher for Cuba. I don't think this is the wisest choice to go for. But apparently Cuba, with this, all this constant hydro pressure and uh, some circles here in the mix as well, um, was even able to take out all the three cannons. But now with the second um, Colossus out and um, with the second Colossus out and all those stalkers, this um, hydro push has been denied after all. And now it is just a couple of hydros on the field um, just to face a Colossi here. 16 kill master colossus, the disciple colossus just got, uh, disciple colossus just got out of the robo facility, so, uh, not mm, being able to do too much damage. And why is honor not going for more sentries? I mean, this is a lot of, uh, mistakes. Protoss player do nowadays. Just getting shit tons of uh, sentries as soon as possible. And then. He just decided, okay, I will just invest my gas all into Colossi and Voitre. But this is not how you do it. You just get the sentries anywhere because the sentries are what keeping him alive. I mean, of course, three Colossi are not a bad unit uh, composition to have against all those Hydras and Zerklings and stuff. But again, Zerklings and stuff, and Zerklings and stuff means all those Zerklings will be able to run in here, the Colossi will focus the Zerklings instead of the Hydras, allowing the Hydras to deal their insane damage, got the plus one finished, plus one is on route, and Cuba is still happily mining here at that location, he's even going for another location here in the top right as well. And what's up with Honor? No idea. No idea, so he thinks maybe this is just a two base work play, so I just should wait it out, but no, this is not the case. And if I am getting contained like that um, as a Protoss player, I would just go crazy. Um, he must have out any expansions, otherwise he would have attacked, because uh, a Zerg player knows being on two base against a two base Colossus Protoss player isn't will not go well at all, so there has to be any uh, hidden expansions. What about this over observer not yet still moving out? I mean, he's going for the Nexus here at the 6 o'clock, but he needs a more, a better of an army composition. I mean, with every Colossus he's getting, he uh, is in a better position, but with every Colossus he's getting on two bases, he's not getting too many Stalkers, and with not getting too many Stalkers, there are more Corruptors on the field pretty soon, but looks like Honor is now moving out. Corruptors are not yet on the field. The Zealots do not have the charge upgrade, but, um, Interesting force here, it's doing quite a lot of damage, we see a lot of burnt bodies here on the creep, on the ground right now, and there are the Corruptors, 12 Corruptors in total taking out the first Void Ray, um, taking out all of those remaining Colossi pretty pretty soon, pretty pretty fast, and um, yeah, all those Colossi just die. I mean, Cuba knows he has to run away until all those Colossi are gone. And I mean, the Colossi here with the movement speed 2.25, the uh, Corrupted with 2.95, which is so much faster. Um, now all those units down, he's is able to attack once again. Let's take a look at the supply count, 155 against 113. And taking a look at the units, it is one Zealot, one Immortal, oh, who just died, by the way. Uh, it is one immortal, two <laughs> void rays, seven zealots, and uh, four sentries in addition to seven stalkers. But 22 hydras, uh, 13 corruptors. All those corruptors got enough, uh, got the cooldown ready uh, for the corruption ability. Now we should see mass corruption here on all those units on the ground. Void ray gets taken out as well. It looks like he's not corrupting those stalkers at all. Now he's corrupting the immortal, corrupting his stalkers. Maybe a little too late, so in the end, On is still able to hold this expansion, so now he's only one expansion behind. I would have guessed um, Cuba would be able to do a little bit more damage. There he is moving in with more Zerklings, with more Hydras. Maybe he should continue with the uh, creep spread. He has got those idle Hydralists, he got the overloads here, not uh, pooping any creep on the floor right now. And what is the appropriate response by our friend Honor? He is going for the Templar Archive. Templar Archive, of course, allowing him to go uh, for the um, High Templars. And the good thing about the High Templars is not only the um, 
Oh, he's he attacking by the way. The good thing about the High Templars is not only the Psy Storm, but also um, the ability to produce Archons. Now all the um, Colossi Void are down once again, and now the Zerklings, in addition to the Hydras, um, just getting rid of the Zealots so freaking fast. Um, and Cuba will take it after all. There we see the GG! So, congratulations to Cuba uh, for advancing to the finals after all. Uh, I'm still uh, having the opinion that Honor threw the second game just away. So I'm not really satisfied uh, with the semi-finals here. But on the other hand, we will see a, a TVZ best of five finals Beastie against Cuba. And this should be a pretty, pretty entertaining match. Um... And really, really looking forward to this. Cuba, of course, um, better than uh, Nice, our Zerg player in the quarterfinals. So um, I'm hoping for a nice TVZ finals. And like I said, or a couple of days ago already, um, currently TVZ is my most favorite matchup to watch and to cast. So I'm looking forward to the finals once again. Congrats to Cuba taking this a best of three semifinals here to one. And of course, uh, not. Too bad of a um, result for Honor as well, getting to the semi-finals here of the Computer Cup with so many um, good players. Of course, uh, a good thing to have. So, the score is currently 0-0 zero, zero of these Grand Finals and it will be played as a best of five. So, here we go. Let me stop the recording of the VOD. And now I have to drink some tea because my throat's really, really starting to hurt. I'm so afraid that I will be making up 